You say there, there are problems in the 9-11 truth movement, and I totally agree with that. And I believe that uh, that so-called truth movement was in place a long time before 9-11 occurred. And that uh, they were desi they designed that movement initially uh, to to silence people to to actually control the way that the movement went. Uh, you know, and Lenin said that they they would control both sides of any issue in order so that they could control the outcome. So, yeah, that's right. It's a called a limited hangout. The limited hangout was uh, uh, 9 eleven is an inside job, blaming it on our government. You know, and and uh, not telling the whole truth. Right, like, right. You're talking about getting getting people together. Back in the UFO days, it's the same thing happened. We were all jumping on the government, and then we started fighting among ourselves and, and disagreeing about this and that. And uh, it, it really has never gone anywhere. I don't think it ever could anyway. With the media, the media, you know, sakes with the government. But getting back to the uh, 9-11 Truth Movement, let me give you an example of what, what the situation is here in Los Angeles. Uh, I know of three 9-11 Truth Groups here in town. Uh, one is, uh, uh, the first one was uh, We Are Change LA, and uh, there's another one that's called We Are Change, um, uh, we, are call, we Are Change Hollywood. And, uh, and then there's another one, I can't think of the name of it. It's run by a man named uh, Chuck Noyes, who is Jewish, and will just will not allow free discussion of Israel in, in the in the in their meetings. Now uh, the other ones, uh, sad to say, let me tell you something that happened. I went to one of the meetings of uh, Wakla W. We were changed, LA, and I got permission. I'm on good terms with them. I've been on the street with them a lot, and I. Uh, Back in the we are change we are uh, inside job days, and I went to the meeting and got permission to speak for a while, and I said I want to take a poll. There are about thirty people in the room. I said, uh, how many people here believe that Israel had a guilty role in uh, in 9/11? Every hand went up, including the leaders of the group. Uh, and uh, and I then I said, well, why don't you why don't you say that on the street? People need to hear it. And uh, one of the leaders, they w w both weren't there, but they both agree on it. One of the leaders said, we feel we will lose our credibility. <laughs> <laughs> what, by telling the truth? <laughs> Am I telling the truth? No, I say by telling the truth. I don't think you ever lose your credibility by telling the truth. I think that's what people want to hear, and I think they're really darn sick and tired of uh listening to radio programs or or looking at the newspapers and not having the truth. And I think people are open to the truth, even if it isn't popular. Well, you, but, have, to, you have to go through a period of, of, uh, of hostility, of course. But, but what's, you're, you're supposed to be truth-tellers, and you're worried about a little hostility? You're worried about uh, not being friends with everybody? You, everybody's smiling at you? Well, what kind of truth-tellers are you? You know, I, I call them I call them nine eleven half truthers. You know, right? If that, uh, so that that is the typical that's the typical thing. Uh, they they don't want to put it out in, in the street, and and believe me, a lot of people, as I found when I, when I with this no more wars radio, I found there are a lot of people that are waking up. You know, and and let's how much time do we have? I tell these people, we, you're going to lose your credibility. How much time do you have? You know, you've, it's uh, it's frustrating. But, well, uh, I think I think that people, if if uh, people have the right information, they've done their homework, they've looked at the, the resources. Uh, that if they back what information they disseminate with hard facts, that well, we, you will uh, you will gain credibility. We have the facts. That's what's so uh, amazing. Just as at all these things from UFOs on down. The facts are on our side, but the media is not. The media, uh, I've heard them called prostitutes. You've heard that. Sure. And, and they, uh, they've been, they've been uh, prostitutes uh, for the government, for the, the powers that be, not just the government, but the, the wealthy people uh, forever. Um, yeah. And then, of course, then you have the, the conscious gatekeepers. I, I, I think uh, a lot of them are conscious gatekeepers, and the others are 
gatekeepers, but through a, through a, this a timidity. I, I, you know, I won't call it timidity. I'll call it cowardice. I think if you know the truth, as these uh, 9-11 half-truthers do, if they know the truth, it, it, you're, you're a coward if you don't speak it. You're a coward. That's my feeling. 